Ahoy hoy brothers, Avi here. Today I'm going to talk about Wenatchee, Washington and its fascinating paleontological history. Now, let's clear something up first. You may be wondering where I am, and you might assume I'm in Wenatchee, Washington. But, due to unavailability, I'm currently in Genko Petrified Forest. Now that we've got that out of the way, I'd like to start the video. Okay, Wenatchee, Washington, where to start? We could talk about the fossils from the Quaternary, Cretaceous, Pennsylvanian, Ordovician, and Cambrian, such as those displayed at the Wenatchee Valley Museum and Cultural Center. No, today I'm gonna talk about the more recent past. Our topic for today is the ancient tribes of Wenatchee, Washington. One of the most important concrete pieces of evidence for ancient tribes in Wenatchee, Washington, is the fact that in 1987, a multitude of Clovis spearheads were reportedly found by two apple orchard workers in an East Wenatchee apple orchard. The word Clovis, as I was able to understand it, is in short an archaeological term to distinguish Pleistocene Epoch early American cultures defined by the distinct tools they used. Upon examination of the spear points, it was determined that, along with other artifacts found, they date back to around the beginning of the Pleistocene, or end of the Holocene, about 12,000 to 11,000 years ago. This, along with the later rock painting found on the east side of the Columbia River, firmly places the existence of ancient tribes in Wenatchee, Washington. In addition, the theorized abundance of fish in the area and scientific evidence of a mild climate probably made it a relatively nice place to live for the ancient people who once walked there. Thank you so much for watching Paleontology Across the U.S. Sources in the description.